Welcome to Whisper Report. How can AI and machine learning transform media and entertainment? Video edition. I'm Dr. Doreen Galley, Chief of Research at TBW Advisors LLC. Technical business whispers. The answer is always in the whispers. Subscribe today. We took the most frequently asked and the most urgent technology questions straight to the technology experts gathering at the NAB Show 2025. This whisper report addresses the question regarding how can AI and machine learning transform media and entertainment. Setting the stage. As Deep Dub's Oz Krakowski stated, Because what we see is a lot of the work that was done before is now uh, done in different ways. These changes have already hit the headlines. As for Dell Technologies, Tom Burns pointed out, Everybody's all concerned with Gen AI, but of course the writers and actors strikes will all own that. Thus, this AI transformation is not new, but rather is currently underway. Latikou's Jade Curian offered this perspective. And the question now is, how do we do this thoughtfully? How do we do it in a way that we don't compromise ethics, where we don't compromise people's jobs? How do we make it flow back and forth, where we take advantage of AI and machine learning to make our lives easier and make our lives better and make entertainment and media better? Cinefilm's Dom Jackson suggested we take another step back to gain a larger perspective. There's a lot of fear around AI uh, and, and, and those technologies. And in that sense, I see those as part of a continuum of ongoing automation processes that have been going on since the Industrial Revolution. Everyone's always scared when something new comes along and then very quickly it becomes normal and it empowers us to work in new and different and usually more efficient ways. See figure one for a cornucopia of AI use cases suggested. Let's explore some of these new and different, more efficient ways, AI use cases in media. One thing is for certain, there's no shortage of opportunity for AI to positively impact the media and entertainment sector. The favorite use case among all users, Estrada Michael Sioni put it. AI is best for our industry as a utility form to do the mundane tasks. While a lot of people get caught up in the uh, generative AI, which is cool and interesting and certainly disruptive, I actually think for professionals in media and entertainment, we need AI that automates mundane tasks like like color correcting, sound noise reduction, video audio noise reduction, face tagging, locations, uh, objects, emotions. Uh, those are all the things that no one wants to sit and log footage and AI can log it for us. Or per Ross's David Green. AI is gonna make us more efficient and more effective and let us focus on what we love doing, which is creating amazing content. No matter which perspective you prefer, the elimination of the mundane or the freeing up to do the fun parts AI is here to stay in media workflows. As Del Tom Burns observed. Machine learning has already transformed media and entertainment in so many invisible ways, from security to fixing single pixel defects to all kinds of low level network functions and automated provisioning. When it comes to all that stored media, there's plenty of suggestions how AI can assist as well, per SNS's Alex Havarti. It actually can be an incredibly helpful buddy to sort through the stuff we don't want to do. Parse through petabytes worth of information, help us find assets more quickly, um, and just interact with our data in a much more meaningful way while reducing man hours, doing things that are laborious. Eon Media's Greg Morrow observed. As our customers have large libraries of, of, of video files that only have a file name or have just a, t a small title. And so we really enrich those, those assets with um, information to make those assets more usable by identifying people, places, things, emotional sentiment, um, ethnicity as part of those assets. Dell Technologies' Tom Burns denoted. One of the Gen AI things that is proving to be useful is for companies that have large archives or studios that have uh, that have the rights holders to a lot of content. 
using AI to extend the metadata and inform them of what they actually have in their archive allows them to make that more searchable and therefore more monetizable. Increasing metadata for the purpose of search and related business cases that come from having truly searchable content is a common theme. As Axel AI's Sam Bugash simply stated, they can't find it, they can't reuse it. If process re-engineering and establishing a clean data fabric is your organization's Mount Everest, TBW Advisors LLC offers a lot of first-hand experience and expertise to teams and executives via inquiry. In some of the use cases, such as sound editing, it has completely transformed the task at hand. As Deep Dub's Oz Krakowski observed, Just like you cannot imagine a graphics designer not using Photoshop, it's unheard of, right? However, 20 years ago, this was extremely questionable. Um, nowadays, thinking of doing voice design and uh, uh, editing dialogues without using AI. Ross's David Green offers additional suggestions. So things like camera tracking. So instead of having to every single second manually figure out where things are and do, do manual keying, key, you know, markers and those sort of things, we can use AI to automatically be able to do those things. Things like, you know, again, instead of having to flip through a manual. Dell's Tom Burns observed. When you render your VFX, AI upsampling has gotten so good now that you can uh, render it 2K and up-res to 4K and it looks better than if you'd rendered it 4K in the first place. Wow. Upsampling, rendering better than if it was 4K in the first place. Now that's an improvement. By definition, localization is another area that has been drastically impacted by AI. Today, such AI tools as Yellow Umbrella is making content accessible to users uh, that wouldn't have access to it normally, be either because there's no one to localize that uh, content or just because the content that they want to access is not available in the accessibility form that they prefer. If the form you prefer isn't about language, but more about duration, Magnify's Ken Ruck shares today, one can you edit uh, automatically, create clips automatically, as well as produce content automatically. Clients may recall our coverage of Conference Whispers NAB Show 2023, when automated shorts were first highlighted. One of the most treasured advancements is that of workflow automation. As Eon Media's Greg Morrow stated, Workflow automation to pr improve the efficiency of a media organization in order for the, the people in the organization to create higher value content and less of the drudgery work. In other words, AI can transform media and entertainment by enabling all to do more with less. But if you are worried about your job, Cinefilm's Dom Jackson assured. And strangely, ultimately, people always end up having jobs. Um, they're different jobs but people always end up with plenty of work to do. This has been Whisper Report. How can AI and machine learning transform media and entertainment? The answer is always in the whispers. Subscribe today. Have an amazing day.